Today's topic, rappers who made it big but are now struggling with money. Yeah, it happens. Let's check out who they are. Lil Baby is like a money magician, transforming his early struggles into a whopping eight to nine million dollar net worth as of 2023. Lil Baby splurging on a kid-sized Rolex and chain for his mini-me? Talk about bling in the cradle. But don't let the flashy spending fool you. This rapper's wallet is as thick as his lyrics are slick. Brand new car is noisy, come through and it's roaring. You ain't gotta worry, I don't care about your boyfriend. See me and get nervous, I did it perfect. Work hard and determined, it's just a Whoa. None of you guys get flies me. From the get-go with his mixtape Perfect Timing in 2017, Lil Baby's been on a financial upswing, with chart toppers like My Turn making waves and dollars. He's not just a rap star, he's a business guru too, launching his own label, Four Pockets Full. And let's not forget his heart of gold, sprinkling his wealth on philanthropic causes. Lil Baby's life is like a hip-hop Cinderella story. He went from trouble with the law to owning fancy cars and houses in different places. It's a classic tale of going from nothing to everything with a cool soundtrack. And guess what? He doesn't even hang out at high-end restaurants. I'm on the fast food side, not like just restaurant, hamburger fry type. That's what yeah. I think when I think fast food. So you don't like Popeyes, McDonald's? Popeyes are fast food Pope, too. I like yeah. Popeyes over yeah, everything. Popeyes. Got Popeyes over I Wendy's. like Popeyes over everything. Yeah. For sure Popeyes over Wendy's. He's known for some pretty wild spending. The most jaw-dropping thing? He got a massive $24 million pink diamond and planted right in his forehead. Yeah, you heard that right, in his forehead. He said he'd been making payments for this diamond since way back in 2017. That's dedication. This kind of splurge is not your everyday purchase, and it's got people talking. Fans and the media are all buzzing about his spending habits. How much money do you have in your bank account? Me? Yeah, put the number in. You don't have to show me. You don't even have to show me. I don't want you to. No, I'll show you. You'll show me? <laughs> Wait, with all the zeros? Oh. Right now. Right now. You check it all the time? That's the number? I just came back from Europe. <laughs> what does that mean? It's supposed to be more than that. I spend too much money. Oh, this is after. That's not as crazy as y'all think. <laughs> and this diamond thing, it's more than just a fancy rock. It's a statement. It's like Lil Uzi Vert's way of showing off his unique style and the kind of flashy life that a lot of rap stars are known for. It's this blend of personal expression, a touch of wildness, and living that luxe life that makes Lil Uzi Vert's financial moves so interesting. I mean, he pretty much lives by spending his money left and right. The greatest, oh, this is crazy. Oh, All right, let's talk about Lil Wayne. This dude's financial journey reads like a soap opera script. Imagine being so rich that you think, how can I spruce up my smile? I know, let's get some diamond braces. Yep, that's Lil Wayne for you. Dropping a cool $150,000 just to add some bling to his grin. You can't switch him out? No. Well, I can go to the dentist and switch him out, but uh, it's surgery. I see. Yes. Do you brush your diamonds every morning? Yes, sir. You do? After dinner, With, after with what, with toothpaste or polish? Or? Colgate. Colgate, huh? <laughs> but wait, there's more. He didn't just stop at dental jewelry. He went all out with a fleet of fancy cars. Think Mercedes, Bentley, McLaren, Cadillac, Rolls Royce, the whole luxury car catalog. And let's not forget about his love for shiny necklaces. But here's the kicker. Despite making it rain with cash, Lil Wayne found himself in a bit of a pickle with a whopping $14 million tax debt. Who came to the rescue? None other than Jay-Z, like a hip-hop superhero. So, while Lil Wayne's got a taste for the finer things, his bank account definitely felt the pinch. His beats that's gonna send me every beat he make and want me to rap on every single one until I got my situation straight. Lil Pump's bank account is like a wild ride at an amusement park full of highs, lows, and unexpected twists. As we roll into December 2023, the guy's net worth is chilling at a cool $12 million. Yep, you heard that right. But how, you ask? Well, this rap sensation's been raking in the dough from album sales, music royalties, YouTube ads, and dabbling in various business ventures. Lil Pump's wallet is thick, but so is his taste for the finer things. Luxury cars, designer outfits, you name it. He's probably bought two of it. But hold up. Huh. I only walk out with twos cause Lil Pump 2's on the fucking way, bitch! Yeah! Don't play with me! My body is different! Huh! Different! I'm dropping these bitches on the floor! 
Pick it up, nigga. Pick it up. What the fuck you talking about? Bitch, Lil Pump 2's on the way, ho. Get ready. Yeah. It's not about splashing cash for Lil Pump. He's also dipped his toes into the futuristic pool of NFTs and royalty-based investments. Picture this. In late 2021, he joined forces with Soldier Boy for the single Mona Lisa, and they did something out of the box. They let folks buy shares of the song through Opulus, backed by an NFT security. Cool idea, but the track didn't quite hit the fame meter like his previous bangers. This right here, 280. This right here, 170. This right here, 80. This right here, 180. This one right here, 50. These right here, another 50. Now you do the math. For sure, for sure. This guy looked at Lil Wayne's diamond braces and said, hold my beer. He went double or nothing, spending a mind boggling $500,000 on his own dental bling. But why stop at teeth when you can have a jewelry collection worth an estimated $50 million? Oh, and let's not forget the golden toilet. Yes, you heard that right a $2 million throne for the king of the bathroom. However, he hit a bit of a snag with a $14.5 million mansion facing foreclosure. So even with all the glitz and glamour, financial turbulence seems not just for us regular guys. If we do a bit of math, we can figure out that he lost way more than just a couple of million. When Universal gave me a bag, brother, I can, I can honestly say I gave Wayne about 400 to 500 million dollars. Drake got about 500 million dollars. And Nicky got about three, 400 million dollars. Out of my pocket, no cap. You don't believe me, ask them. All right, let's dive into 21 Savage's world. This guy was like the poster child for smart money management and rap for a hot minute. He was all about saving money, not splurging on bling. Basically your grandma's favorite rapper when it comes to financial advice. But then, plot twist, our man decides to drop a cool half a million dollars on diamond earrings. That's right, $505,000. Maybe he was trying to hear money better. He's come a long way since he was just a teenager, but he's spending his money quickly. My first car was an 85 Cutlass. I had a Ford Explorer, then I had the no, my, first, my first car was an 84 Cutlass. My second car was an 85 Cutlass. My third car was an 85 Cutlass. Yeah, she is on. Then my fourth car was... Who knows? It's like going from bragging about your high credit score to buying a golden yacht on a whim. A bit of a head scratcher, right? But hey, to each their own. Maybe those earrings came with superpowers or at least a lifetime supply of good vibes. Now onto DJ Khaled. Picture this. It's the mid 2010s and DJ Khaled is just chilling in his mansion. Probably yelling another one. But wait, plot twist. He's almost losing his mansion because of money troubles. He was putting all his dough into his company. We the best. I mean, gotta admire the self-confidence and suddenly realize his bank account was looking a bit thin. The best part? DJ Khaled doesn't do accountants or money managers. Nope, he's a DIY kind of guy. He's out here paying for everything himself, from the grass to the haircuts. He has been ingrained with a strong work ethic for a long time. Your sister has a shoe store in Jacksonville? You get deep now, you get deep. You know, I keep my family out these conversations. Big up my family, big up them. We got to my whole family. We, I, I got. I can't. I can't. You're getting deep. You getting too deep. I, I, I like you. Like chill. Out. It's not getting too deep now. It's like having a billion dollar empire and still making sure you turn off all the lights to save on the electric bill. Gotta respect the hustle though. He turned things around and now he's back on top, doing his thing and probably still not believing in accountants. So check this out, Soldier Boy. He's got a way of spending money that's kind of wild. Get this. He once dropped a huge two hundred fifty thousand dollars but not on a fancy car. Nope, he bought a chain. Yeah, you heard that right, a Lamborghini chain. And guess what? This chain is no ordinary piece of jewelry. It's got a remote control. Imagine that, he can actually drive his necklace around like a little car. It's like mixing up your coolest jewelry with your best remote controlled car.
strange combo, right? Makes you wonder if he's having races in his house with it. What if it breaks? Does he have chain insurance or something? This purchase is so out there. It makes you think maybe Soldier Boy is onto some secret we all haven't figured out. In the world of rap, he's not just playing the game. He's in a league of his own when it comes to spending cash. The game has been playing a bit too fast and loose with his cash. He gets tangled up in a messy lawsuit over some serious no-no behavior. He decides to play hooky from court. Bad move, my friend. The judge gets miffed and goes, all right, I'm grabbing your cameo cash. You know that place where celebs make those personalized shout out vids? Boom, he's slapped with a whopping $7 million bill. Talk about an expensive no-show. But he still lives in La La Land, as long as saying it how it is goes. Us, everybody watching, every individual, you two, me, him over there, like we have to stop ourselves and make sure that we are being the best that we can. And if everyone did that, man, we'd be walking out. You'd be, every time you look out the window or every time you drive by, you see motherfuckers jumping in the air, high-fiving, go dude, don't even know each other. What's up stranger? Like, you know, like we really have to get. The game hops onto the crypto train, choo-choo, promoting some digital coins called Paragon. Sounds cool, right? Not so much. Turns out it's a big no-no coin, a scammy initial coin offering. He's now on the hook for a cool $12 million. That's what happens when you jump on a bandwagon without checking if it's headed off a cliff. Now let's chat about Kanye West, the rap world's roller coaster of riches. As of 2023, pinning down his exact financial status is like trying to catch a greased up squirrel, slippery and unpredictable. Kanye's been living large, known for his mind-boggling splurges. Remember when he and Kim Kardashian got a $30,000 bathroom sink? Or that time he rented an entire island for $400,000 to ring in his 40th? But hear him out on how to get your own bank too. And now this morning, I found out that they were trying to put me in prison because what they did was, uh, I, put, I moved $140 million into uh jp morgan and i'm like i've been trying to buy my own bank for the longest and then we figured out how to get my own bank it's like 50 million 75 million so i'm about to buy my own bank but then as they're about to take the money out here comes adidas with a 270 75 million dollar bill for marketing funds that they agreed upon because i said to them hey i'm the marketing give me the marketing fund which proves by the response they got when they you know, stole the designs and said, we're gonna not call them Yeezys anymore. Talk about partying like a rap mogul. Kanye's wealth dances up and down more than his beats. Thanks to his epic music hits, fashion ventures like Hello, Yeezy, and a smorgasbord of potential escapades. His bank account's roller coaster has had more ups and downs than a soap opera, making him a constant buzz in the money gossip circles. Whether he's swimming in dollars or navigating financial waves, Kanye's extravagant lifestyle is as legendary as his music. The man's a walking, talking headline. A mix of genius and extravagance, keeping us all on our toes and wondering, what will Kanye do next? Looks like he's also got a lesson or two about staying broke. Moving on to Drake, the king of bling and all things fancy. Now, he's not exactly in the same boat as the game. We don't have the juicy deets on any big money troubles for Drizzy, but boy does he love to splash the cash. Imagine dropping $2.85 million just to turn your neighbor's house into your guest pad. And let's not forget the $80,000 marble bathtub, because why not? He's just having fun with money right now. Got a bet for my mom here. Let's go. What a run that was. We should have went straight. That was, that was beautiful. Yeah, that was great. Brought us up. Yeah. Oh! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sure, it sounds like he's just burning through money faster than a rocket, but hold up. Drake's got his fingers in so many pies, music, endorsements, business ventures, that it seems he's got enough dough to keep the party going. As far as we know, he's still sitting pretty on a mountain of cash, even with his taste for the ultra luxe life. All right, we've covered rappers who are hitting hard times. Like and subscribe if you found this interesting. Who do you think is next on the list? Comment your guests and join the conversation.